Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Review by Projects. Again with you today, I'm Psycho, and in this episode, I am going to be reviewing The Wolf Among Us, Episode 2, um, Smoke and Mirrors, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, let's just get on to it. Um, a quick recap of the story from the second part. Um, after after um, getting clues on a serial killer in town, um, Bigby continues to investigate what happened um, with the serial killer and the murders. Um, later on, getting involved with Faith, Faith's pimp, um, Jordi, Georgie, um, and um, getting more and more involved in the Beauty and the Beast's affairs um, throughout the episode. So, um, that's pretty much going to be all for the story. I don't want to spoil it too much for you um, with the decision, uh, decision making and everything. So, what has been changed from the previous parts? Pretty much nothing. Um, the the whole point of the game the the game changes is actually continuing with the story. You can start um, you can start the story um, all fresh with the with no decisions made from the first part um, or import the save from your from the first part and get to um, get to work on the decisions that you made from the previous episode and continue on with those and. Um, and evolving the story throughout those decisions. So, yeah. Um, as far as the gameplay goes, nothing has been changed. Still a, a pretty much of a story game based on decisions and the story that goes... Um, that evolves um, according to, to your decisions and the, the, the things that you did in the first part and in this one as well. Um, so yeah, the story goes on, um, as said, um, Bigby gets involved in the Beauty and the Beast affairs, meets Face Pimp, and pretty much continues um, to search for the serial killer that has been murdering people around town. So as far as the graphics go, as said, even as said in the previous review, the graphics haven't been, the graphics are pretty much awesome, it's a comic style. Um, the game is pretty much story based on the decisions that you make and everything, so the graphics aren't aren't really that important and everything. But they are really well made, as expected from Telltale Games and all of well the the style is similar to all of their games, so is similar in all of their games. Um, it's a comic style. It base uh, the game bases on your decisions and. Um, and pretty much continues with the story. So yeah, that's going to be all from my side. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.